this is Joel Williams, GMAU Content Director. I'm here today with Nathaniel Reynes. Nathaniel is in London. He is a Taekwondo student in our GMAU program. And Nathaniel is originally from London and he is a university graduate. He studied psychology and business, so he's a really smart guy too. And he's got some previous martial arts experience in the Japanese art of Taijutsu. And I am looking forward to asking him about that experience and how it connects with his current Taekwondo training. So Nathaniel, thank you for joining me here today. Hi, Joel, thank you. <laughs> So I've introduced you very briefly. Is there anything else that you would like to share about yourself or, or let others know? I think it was a really good introduction. Okay. All right. Well, tell us how you found Global Martial Arts University and in particular, what made you choose the Taekwondo program? Uh, so during pandemic, I was searching for uh, a way to still, still keep training uh, martial arts. And I had Taekwondo in my mind uh, for a few years at the time. So when I saw that I can do Taekwondo in GMAU, it, it was just obvious choice for me. Um, and I liked that uh, the idea with, that with GMAU, no matter where I go, where I, uh, if I move to other city, uh, I can still train and uh, it won't just stop me progressing. So basically that was my choice. That is a great point. That is a very good point. So you can do it from anywhere. And even if you yeah. move, it, it doesn't interrupt things. So, yeah, exactly. And that wouldn't be true for a brick and mortar school that you attend in person. Uh, yes. So that's a very good point. So what was it about Taekwondo that, um, that made you want to go that route given that you have a background in Japanese Taijutsu. So uh, in answering that question, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, exactly what is Taijutsu mm -hmm. and then follow up with how that, how you connected with Taekwondo, what made you want to do that? So Taijutsu is a Japanese martial art and it's, I like to describe it uh, as a Japanese MMA because it's the kind of like mix of karate, kobudo, jujitsu, and judo. So it's like all techniques that can be found in those styles are also in taijutsu. And we also have some weapon trainings. So it's very diverse martial art. And when I was learning this, I really um, developed interest in, in kicking techniques. And then I just, started researching and like online on, on YouTube videos, how to kick better. And obviously like the best martial arts for kicking is probably uh, Taekwondo. So um, I really wanted to start doing this too, just to get my kicking to another level. Do you still also train Taijutsu? I still train Taijutsu. Excellent. So, um, <clears throat> Tell us a little bit about your experience with the GMAU Taekwondo program. Have you had any um, personal successes or things that have gone really well for you? Have you had any things that you've had to, difficulties you've had to overcome? So I have quite recently considered uh, success because uh, quite recently I became a, one of student leaders on the Taekwondo course. Mm -hmm. um, so now I can help uh, less experienced students um and share my experience share my knowledge um and what i can say about taekwondo is that i had because i have some previous martial arts experience uh i didn't really start as a beginner so i already had some knowledge and had some skills uh yet at every exam i really did like i got really good feedback on what I can work on. So that was very important for me because, uh, you know, like it's usually you can just hear that you're good and what else? Um, and from uh, instructor Adam, I always get a constructive feedback on what's good and what I can still work on. So he always has an ideas and this is very important for me. It sounds like you've been very pleased with the communication that you've had with Adam Gerald, yes, yes. the head instructor. That's good. 
when you were looking around for a program that you could do during COVID, did you find other programs and what was it about GMAU in particular that made you decide to go with that option? Mm, some other programs I found um, weren't really as developed as GMAU. Um, I thought like this gave me the most possibilities and also like gradings and everything seemed clear and professional. So um, other programs, they were just like offering a single course and maybe a grading, sometimes not, but things weren't really clear. And I couldn't see those other schools like really working. So it's just GMA use. It looked most trustworthy. Excellent. When you think about your previous training and your training in Taekwondo now, <clears throat> I was wondering if there are some things that are different. For, I know you're experienced, but if there's some things that are different from your previous experience. So, for instance, in Taijutsu, I'm not sure. Did, did you have forms that you had to learn like you learned in yeah. Taekwondo? Yeah. I had forms, uh, but there are like there are things that are very similar, but there are things that are very different. Like some blocks are like completely different way we do it. So then I had to learn some details, like to do them differently. Yeah. So it, it wasn't a big change for you to have to learn a form. You, you've already learned yeah, those already. before in the past, but I would imagine these forms are pretty different. Right. Completely different. Yeah. Taijutsu forms are more similar to forms that you can find in karate. Mm -hmm. And Taekwondo forms are, it's just like they're very symmetrical. And there's there's the symmetry uh, and pattern that you follow on like every level and some differences. Um, so, yeah, that's different. <laughs> that's yeah. different. Do you spend a lot of time solo training or have you found others that you can train with? Uh, most of the time I spend training solo I, as I think it's the most beneficial for me. And I used to do that even uh, before signing up with G GMAU. Uh, so in my Taijutsu training, uh, I like group classes, but I feel that I progress the most when I'm on my own because I can really focus on um, what I'm working on. Uh, and as an introvert, it's just uh, having too many people around and like a lot of things going around it's kind of distracting it's good to have it and i still like now go to taekwondo school uh here in london also uh to just train sparring and like use a bag or pad work um but i still spend a lot of time like training with gmau and doing it on my own in my own time so when you go to a local school and you train in person and you tell them that you are training online, what kind of reactions have you gotten from that? Um, people are sometimes surprised, but also like COVID changed a lot. So uh, we have in our in the school, uh, we have uh, a black belt that just passed a second down grading online. So it's it just kind of became quite normal after a pandemic. I see. And since like, I am now I can say that I like, confident in that I'm quite good. There are some skills that I'm good at and like I heard it in a few schools. So, but it's not really humble of me to <laughs> say it and I don't really feel good saying this, but it's just a fact. Um, and I think this is also something that like proves that GMAU, uh, like I really learned a few things there and um, I was kind of happy because I, I also went there to test myself uh, after learning Taekwondo in GM, GMAU. And that was my only experience with Taekwondo. And then I came to that school and it happened that I'm quite good. So people were a little bit surprised. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, you know, your skill set says it all, right? So there can be no question once you show that and demonstrate that. What would you say to someone who's looking around, uh, as you were before, uh, trying to find an, an online program or a distance program? If What would you say to the person who's looking around, they've maybe discovered GMAU, but they haven't tried it yet, 
And what advice would you give to a new student? So how far along are you now? Uh, half a year. Half a year. I have been trained with Jamie Yu. Yeah. And what, what's your belt rank? Uh, now I'm a purple belt. It's a, a first cup in Taekwondo. Yeah. So you've, you've been able to advance through some ranks and you've got some experience under your belt. So what would you say to that new beginning person? Maybe some things, some advice and wisdom that you have since you've been in the program for a little while. And what would you say to the person who's thinking about trying it out? Maybe has it started yet? So for a person who would just like to try, I would say just try it. Like go to like sign up for this trial for 30 days and start doing lessons, classes or just check the YouTube channel and try to do some classes because this is how I started. I signed up for a trial and I just stayed there. Uh, so yeah, just try. And for someone who just signed up, I would say not to focus so much on the belt, but on to focus on the skill. And like the trick is that because it's online and you, you do grading whenever you feel you are ready, um, it's quite, it takes a shorter time to progress through ranks, but yeah. I think it's important when, like, in this system, it's very important to take it slow and really focus on the skill because it's it's easy to get trapped and just trying to train more, mm -hmm. but not to train like with better quality. So this is like. It, the, training in GM, GMAU requires some self-discipline and being honest with yourself and really focusing on your skills and taking this time. It's a trick with martial arts and every school I can see that is that uh, younger people who just start, they just pursue the belt. They just try to go through the ranks, uh, up the ladder. And I used to do that too. And now when I'm on this purple belt and I'm also on a like blue belt in uh, Taijutsu, uh, which is one of higher ranks, I started slowing down to really focus on my skills. And what happens in martial arts is that when you advance farther and you get closer to the black belt, you see that you keep doing the basics. Like it's not about learning new techniques, it's about mastering your basics. So just to really focus on them at the beginning. Yes, that's very, very good advice. Get those basic skills down and hone those skills as much as you can before you move forward because you'll continue to hone those skills later. Yes. All the skills that you accumulate. Exactly. But, but not, don't move too fast. I would totally agree with that advice. That's really good advice. Is there anything that we haven't talked about that you would like to share or say before we wrap up our interview? I was thinking about those questions uh, even before, so I think I said everything I wanted to say. Okay. Well, again, Nathaniel, thank you very much for meeting with me today. It's We, we met today at 1.45 Eastern time where I am, and it was 6.45 p.m. your time, correct? Yes. Yeah. So we've got a... We, you're halfway around the world for me, but uh, it's amazing that we yeah. can connect in real time Actually, like this. Now that you say that, this, um, this is really cool that like in GMAU, uh, as a student leader, I was leading a class uh, last week mm -hmm. and it was fun to have on that class people from Singapore, from uh, from the United States, uh, somewhere in Europe, so like all around the world. So that was a really cool experience and it's cool to connect with people around the world. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the GMAU family is is most definitely worldwide. It's global for sure. Yes. Well, thanks again for your time and I wish you well in your training. Thank you. All right. Take care.